สวัสดีค่ะ Welcome to Morning Thailand of Friday of the 5th of July 2013. I'm Tulip n a k s o m p o and I'm Wana Son k e r o And today we'll start with a very cheerful news mm-hmm. because just yesterday afternoon, His Majesty King p u m i p o n a y u n d e t has traveled. To Bang Pu s a m u t p r a k a n just about an hour off Bangkok, mm-hmm. to visit the uh, Royal Initiated Project and the uh, ecos- ecology site, mm-hmm. um, especially at Bang Pu, believed to be one of the richest mangrove forests right. in Thailand and possibly in ASEAN region because there are so many kind of rare. Um, wildlife mm, that species. normally mm-hmm. migrate from other country and stay in this particular mangrove for a couple of months before they fly back and things like that. So about um, 2 p.m., His Majesty King leave the Sirat Hospital and uh, travel to Bang Pu. Bang Pu is a very famous. A uh, vacational town since mm-hmm. about 50s, 60s, and they have a great restaurants there. Yes, that's what I remember. <laughs> <laughs> It's famous for one of those fish that can just walk on uh, yeah. the muddy beach. Exactly, <laughs> feet. They have feet. They, yeah, they have they have feet. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so uh, His Majesty arrived at, ar- at around 3 p.m. Visit the Royal Initiated Project. Um, that uh, involve the water resources management in Samutpakan, and uh, he was staying at Sala Sukjai, which is directly translated as Happy Pavilion. Mm. And about 4 p.m., uh, the Crown Princess Ratna Rajasuda uh, Sayam Rom Rajakumari mm. arrived to accompany His Majesty the mm-hmm. King. Um, and they just stay there for about a little over an hour, mm-hmm. just to sightseeing and enjoy the scenery right. before uh, both of them travel back to Bangkok. Mm-hmm. Now this is such a big news for us because um, our king hasn't be able to come out of the hospital that often. So yeah. this is one of a. Uh, Most cheerful news so far. Yes. One little thing, though, that mangrove not just famous for the uh, very rich um, mangrove forest. Mm-hmm. It's also famous for a uh, bird observation spot. Right. So the seagulls. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so all these people that you know love the nature and just want to go see rare rare birds, mm-hmm. not just the normal Thai bird. There will be, like I said, some in some season, there will be b- birds that migrate from other country and just stay there. Mm-hmm. Uh, Bang Pu is the spot. Right, and it's not far from Bangkok. It's so not you far can from Bangkok, and you say there are, there are good food mm-hmm. there. And good sceneries, g- fresh air. I haven't been there too long. Mm-hmm. Gonna go back there soon. Thinking That's about good. Food. We okay. c- maybe we can go and take a pictures and show yes. you. <laughs> anyway, right. move on to next news. Right, I have another good news now. Um, this one is actually a lot of people in entertainment business was a little bit surprised by this particular news because okay. no one have heard of it before. Now, when the movie stars or famous singers enter a monkhood, mm. we normally mm. heard of it beforehand. Right, and there's always some press, you know, that go there and mm. do some. A little bit of a release, so on and so forth. However, for this particular superstar, and he's quite well known within Asian region as mm-hmm. well, Kun B Sukrit, uh, we say g a l He's 28 years old now. We know him as B the Star because he won a competition, star competition. Now they say that um, he uh, yesterday has entered a monkhood at the Wat In Tha Ram Temple in. p r a n a k o n s i Ayutthaya Province. Now they say that this is on, there were only about 40 of his close associates that were present, mm-hmm. and they didn't allow any media that you know or some reporter that happened to know about this to actually um, taking much of a picture of the events as well because they want to be quite private. Now they say that p r a b i has already been um, entered a monkhood in this particular. Temple before um, about three years ago, on the third actually of of July. So <clears throat> almost exactly three years after, he went into the monkhood once again, and 
he said that due to the fact that he always wanted to actually um, learn more about Buddhism and Buddha teaching, but he didn't have enough time. But at this time, he cleared all his schedule so that he would be able to enjoy this particular time and study Buddhism and Buddha teaching. Right now, there has not been any talk about when he will actually end this particular okay. monkhood that he has entered. <laughs> and he, he is, I would say, number one in the country too, because he has mm -hmm. been receiving the top, uh, the most popular um, artist by right. nine and awards, I think five years in a row, mm. and it's voted well, by the general public. He's a good actor and he's a very good singer. We and have to admit uh, that. Mm -hmm. I think the media just love him because it personally he is he's very charming. He's very charming mm -hmm. and he's very polite. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So this is good news once yes. again. Okay. You have another good news for us? I don't know. <laughs> I would Not for us, but you know. I would say it's a report. Mm -hmm. um, Hard work. It's, it's, it will be inspiration for lots of you to uh, work hard for your future. So you will uh, Especially the young rich. ones, so you know you have a long way to go. Right, <laughs> but still, you know. <laughs> anyway, the thing is Forbes magazine has come out and uh, do, Forbes magazine has done some research mm -hmm. and uh, published the result of the richest of Thailand. Which is always, you know, nice to know. Yeah, <laughs> something always nice to know. Most of the time you hear the same name floating around, you know, taking turns to be one, two, three, and four. Right. But in this case, number one is, I believe, four years in a row mm -hmm. has been number one, uh, which is the owner of the CP group, Kun Tanin Jirawanon. For him and his family, asset worth 393 billion baht. Wow. And That's CP, nice CP if, you, if you don't know exactly what CP is, which I will be surprised if you don't know, mm -hmm. besides all the CP product that you see, CP. The frozen food. They're, the they're frozen actually pretty food, good at it. They have eggs, they mm -hmm. have dairy product, they have all this meat chicken, pork, or whatever. Mm -hmm. They also own CPO, which is uh, the owner of 7-Eleven. Oh, that's right. And uh, True, all True product, True Vision, mm -hmm. True Internet, also all, you know, in the same group with CP. Yeah, 7-Eleven alone would actually make yes. you extremely 7 rich. 7-Eleven, I believe, is one of the most profitable under the group. Mm -hmm. And uh, recently, it became the big news because they just bought Siam Macro, Oh. So they have another three, what's it called? Three thousand six hundred million dollars, mm -hmm. dollars right. from last year, mm -hmm. and make them rank number one because all this business they have been doing, mm. and uh, people believe that uh, CP has bought um, Macro because they prep the company to be ready for uh, the ASEAN opening oh. in 2015. Okay, people, makes sense. A lot of people ask about 7-Eleven. The thing is they only have the right for 7-Eleven in Thailand. But right. with Macro, they can do it in ASEAN region. They can oh. be the main distributor. Anyway, okay. move on to the number two. It's not like that they are any less rich. <laughs> <laughs> Number two is Jeroen Siri Watana Pakdi. Oh no, sorry. Number two is the family Jirati Wat family. Right. The owner Central. of Central Group, Central mm -hmm. Department Store, Central Development. Mm -hmm. Now they have a lot of uh, residential Centara property. Central Hotel. Yes, they also own the the hotel groups mm -hmm. as well. So um, you know, they're doing pretty good. Three point eight three. No, three hundred eighty three billion baht is the Jirathwat family mm -hmm. um, assets value. Right. Net worth, net worth. Mm -hmm. And number three, Jaren Siri Watana Pakdi is the owner of Thai beverage. It's the Thai whiskey company. Mm. Um, 330 billion baht. Number four is the Yuvitaya family, the owner of Gratingdang. Oh, 240. 
243 billion baht. I'm starting to think I'm in the wrong business here. Maybe well, I should what start business selling some drink. Supposed to be I in. don't know. Some <laughs> food, some drink. You know, anyway. <laughs> you can bake, but I don't know if you can bake that much to actually earn. Right. <laughs> oh, well. Number five is the owner of Rung Te with Yu That Company Limited, which is the uh, management executive of Channel 7, mm. 121 billion baht. Um, so in television, you're yes, in television. Number six, Wun Roy Brewery. We know they're famous from uh, Braveridge. Mm -hmm. Number seven is the uh, owner, we say CEO of the Thai Life Insurance. Mm -hmm. Number eight, is the founder and also the executive of BEC World, mm -hmm. which is also uh, operator of Channel 3. Right. Number nine, Prasad Bras Thong mm. also Bangkok Airways. Kung Thep Dusit Vechakan. Number 10, former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat. Well, he got to be there. Well, he said almost missed the top 10 though still in the top 10 he has net worth of 53 billion baht okay that's not low money that's a lot of money that's anyway. a lot of money uh, let's just let's just say that people on this list are actually you know pretty well off than pretty, most of us pretty well off <coughs> mm -hmm. and uh, they just mentioned some of the new face in the top 50 mm -hmm. which is on number 40 but he worth mentioning because this is the first time he entered the top 50 list of thailand okay his name is somport ahunai he's the owner of the uh palangan Borisut company which is uh, directly energy. translated as pure energy this company developed the clean energy oh. from solar cell from the windmill oh that that's kind of good thing. that's mean we're doing pretty good yes. I mean, in terms of demand and he is number 40. well so yes that's the story of uh, <laughs> A cheerful story. Cheerful story. Just you prepping know. you before I have a not so cheerful story. Okay. Yeah. You <laughs> you're gonna be sad about this. Just pulling you down. From okay. The well, um, if you have kids, and I know that you just have a newly twins nephews. Yes. Which hello. Is congratulations. Twins. Um, <laughs> now um, this has been a problem here in Thailand for quite a bit now, mm. Kuchulip, because we have been reporting accidents before for you know school bus and vans that tends to last time um, someone left the the child in a van for such a long time that she ended up not did not make it mm. um, at this point this particular case um, due to the fact that this particular um, girl only three years old she's a kindergarten in a, a first, gr first grader now she goes to a Samchan Suksa Bang Rak school. Now that is uh, the exact van that she was in. Okay. Now normally when you have a school vans to driving your kids around, you think that there should be a supervisor along with the driver in the van to make sure that all the children would right. actually be safe. However, in this particular case, there's only the driver, Kun Mutti Pong Sukwan Sitritsin, who claimed that he has been driving for over 20 years now, um, the school vans, and he said that he was driving alone. What happened was he was just doing normal routine, 13 kids in his van. However, as he was dropping each one of them um, to their houses, he, they say that there's also the small children along with a little bit older children who would help open the door for small children. However, in do, during that particular time, they say that there was four of um, elementary students that requested to go and buy stuff at 7-Eleven. So the driver just tell the kids to open the door, uh, to close the door, to make sure that the door is nicely shut. However, he said that as he, as he was driving, he heard the door open <gasps> and um, he believed that the little girl probably, because she was by herself, she right. probably pulled the door somehow and she fell and he said that by the time that he realized it he could not stop and he ended up ran over her so at this point <sighs> her condition is um five ribs has been broken um she has suffered um 
quite a bit of uh, trauma right here and they say that there's a bleeding internal bleeding there um, the doctor still could not say whether or not she would su survive or what would her condition be at this point we're looking at 50 50 but as I say the police is press charges for negligence and also I think that this is a good example for other schools if you're gonna have a school bus or school van you but need supervisor to be there not yeah, just a driver but if the police press charges to the driver for reckless driving mm -hmm. but isn't if if it's owned by a company it's mean yeah. company saving costs on the staff right isn't it company that's supposed to be sued for not taking care of this properly yeah, apparently there they didn't say whether or not this person belongs to school he they just say that he's been driving so maybe this is private owns like maybe this is his business we're not sure mm. but still like school would be to take responsible out of this as well because you know like if you're gonna because let they, the kids yeah, go. they have to have some contract with some certain company exactly. to, take care all, to take care of all these kids mm -hmm. and that's heartbreaking thank right. you can go off <laughs> sorry you know it's gotta <laughs> report it i can't help anyway it. we'll take a short break we'll come back with scan the update on the scandalous monk yes. just gonna be more scandalous mm -hmm. and the update of the world peace university mm -hmm. a little more information and also um the um, deputy prime minister, that's the former deputy prime right. minister, that is now the labor minister. Don't go anywhere.